Good evening, and welcome to Season 3, Episode 1 of Wednesday in the Word. If you remember Season 1, we looked at some of the promises of God. Uh, season 2, we went and looked more at some names of God. And here in Season 3, we're looking at your pastor's favorite scripture, Unlocked. Okay, it's kind of like the reveal. I mean, what a great way to get to know some of your pastors by the verse that they choose as their favorite. I think it's a good way to get to know them and see how they tick. So anyhow, I'd like to share with you my favorite passage of Scripture, which really isn't my favorite passage. It's my most necessary passage of Scripture. I guess there's a difference. Um, well, let me explain. Um, I have issues. Okay, I, I have issues. Okay, when I go to a social event, for instance, and there's lots of people, what I have to tell myself is I say, Floyd, I say, Floyd, don't do all the talking. I say, Floyd, don't talk about what you're interested in. Talk about what other people are interested in. And Floyd, if someone's not engaging the conversation, get them to be a part of the conversation and don't hog it. Uh, also, in my spare time, you know, when I'm doing something, I, I, I don't like interruptions. And so, interruption comes, i got to realize they're from God. But there's a part of me that says, I don't want to help people right now. This is kind of like something I want to do. See, my problem is, a lot of my world revolves around me and what I want. And it's this verse that keeps me centered and constantly reminds me. So... Some of you might be asking, so how are you doing with that? Well, I guess I could say that I'm a work in progress. That's probably the best way to put it. So with that in mind, here's my verse. Here's, here's my verse for the last decade or so. Um, and it comes out of Romans chapter 15, verse 1. And it says this, Now we who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of those without strength and not just please ourselves. Okay, so you get it? I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, this is difficult for me. We who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of those without strength and not just please ourselves. Now, if you remember, we were going through the book of, of, of Romans, right, in, on Sundays. And in chapter 14, we were looking at how we were not to be judgmental uh, with our brothers and sisters in Christ. And it moves on in 14. We see we're not supposed to be a stumbling block also. And here now we come into chapter 15 where the Apostle Paul aligns himself with the strong, being a strong believer, and says that the strong believer has the key, in a sense, to the problem, the problem of the divisions within the church and so on, like the Jews and the Gentiles clashing because of uh, their cultural differences. Remember, with meat offered to idols and so on. And I believe Paul doesn't abandon these specific issues that he's been dealing with, but I think at this point, in this first verse, he kind of opens it up more, um, expands it a little bit. You know, I feel that, um, that probably most of you watching this um, uh, or could be in the strong category. Uh, strong doesn't mean, obviously, that you're physically strong. It's, it's about uh, your convictions, your conscience, your, your maturity. And, um, and that's what we're looking at here. Now, fortunately, uh, Pastor Irwin covered this passage just a couple weeks ago. So this could be a great review for us. But what I first recognize about this passage of Scripture is that the strong need to take the initiative with the weak. Um, the word ought here is not to be watered down. It doesn't mean we recommend doing this. No, no, it's our obligation. And this word ought is in the present tense, which means that you are continually, constantly obligated to help your brother and bear his weaknesses. Uh, I didn't say you have an obligation to put up with the weak. No, no, you have an obligation to bear which is also used in Galatians 6 too, where believers are to carry or bear each other's burdens and in this way fulfill um, the law of Christ. 
So when the strong believer reaches out to the weak, we do it in love, and we fight the temptation to still make it all about us, okay, and not just please ourselves. You know, so many of us Christians in the Western world, we do wonderful things, uh, but it's more about what it does for us than what it really does for the people that we help. So, If you keep reading in verses uh, 2 and 3, you find this in chapter 15. Each of us is to please his neighbor for his good, to his edification, for even Christ did not please himself. So so pleasing others is not an end in itself, but it's, see, it's about their good to build them up. It's literally to edify, edification. Uh, And by doing this, we're simply following Uh, the example of Christ, who did not please himself when he was on earth. He went all the way to the cross. He said, this is my my father's will. It was about the will of his father. He came to to obey him, and it was about pleasing his father. So, a passage of scripture, simply put, basically says, I need to keep my eyes off myself can't be all about me. Secondly, I need to choose to love others and serve others the way Jesus would. Uh, Thirdly, I need to do this with the right motives, uh, with a pure heart, and to glorify God. And so, even just those three, coming off my passage of Scripture, if we can learn to walk in those, if I can learn to walk in those, well, That's my verse, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, thanks for joining us this season, season three, episode one. Uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we will catch you next week.